Hey y'all, good morning. It's Ned over My Philippine Dreams. And I'm going to kind of rush through this video as I actually sold the YBR and I got a guy's going to have to be picking it up a little bit later. I had picked up the uh, Kawasaki Rouser 200NS about a month ago and I kept both of them, uh, the YBR and the 200 because I was going to try to decide which one I wanted to keep. Both of them have their pros and cons but at the end of the day when all is said and done I've decided to keep the 200 Rouser. Now, real quick. The reason I am keeping the Rouser is mainly because of the power. This has about 150% more horsepower than the YBR125. It's got about 200% more torque. And when you're driving along and you need to get out of the way of something, or if you're passing a sugarcane truck, you really need that power to get around things. The, Cow the, uh, Yam the Yamaha is a great bike, but it's only putting out about 11 horsepower. So that's the 25 horsepower and the Kawasaki really makes a difference. The other thing I like about the Rouser are the front and rear disc brakes. The brakes on this are amazing and you can basically stop on a dime. Again, when you're driving around in the Philippines, there's always stuff jumping out in the road and you have to be able to stop. And the stopping power on this thing is simply amazing. The throttle delivery, the power across the throttle range is really good on the Kawasaki. On the YBR, you really have to pretty much redline it to get that 11 horsepower. You got to really crank it to get any sort of power out of it. Now, the things I don't like about the Rouser. First up is the ride quality. This has a much thinner seat than the YBR and you can really feel it on the on the bumps. You can see how thick this seat is here. At some point I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the suspension about an inch on this and we're going to put some more foam in the seats. Also the monoshock is adjustable so I'm going to have to do some adjustment on that. This has the two shocks. Another thing I like about the Rouser is that it has a uh, underbox for, for an exhaust system. So there's no exposed exhaust like there is with the YBR. That's what I burnt my leg on. Ugh. Nasty. So I like that. Another downside of the 200, and I know I'm listing a lot, but again I've decided to keep it, is the, the ride height. The seat height on the Rouser is higher than the Yamaha. The Yamaha's got a pretty low seat. Also the Yamaha is a little bit lighter than the Kawasaki. And the final thing that I like about the, y, the YBR is the turning radius. The turning radius, because of the way the front forks are set up, is excellent. You can basically turn on a dime. On the Kawasaki, you're not doing a three-point turn. You're doing about a five- to seven-point turn. Also, the off-road capability on the YBR is a little bit better. Or no, let's just, let's just say better. It's better than the, the uh, Rouser. The Rouser's got street tires on it. The YBR has got kind of like off-road, dual-purpose tires. Um, but again, you're, if, you're, if you're going off-road, you're probably going to need a, de a dedicated off-road bike anyways. I also like, on the Rouser, I also like the front headlight. It's HID. On this, it's just a quartz halogen. So you get a much brighter light. Uh, and you can really know, like I was driving the YBR around last night and I really noticed the difference. The problem, another problem with the Kawasaki is it's a lot more complicated. From the engine, it's got the triple spark, it's got liquid cooling on the oil system, the display is all digital, and that could cause some problems. The YBR is a very basic, basic machine. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's got the analog gauges. Um, so we're hoping that we're not going to have too many problems. Now, Kawasaki on the Rouser series, when they first came out, they had a number of issues, like with the spark plug. They used to have the spark plug cover angled at a 45 degree angle this way, and moisture used to get in there and used to cause problems. The older engines used to get vapor lock sometimes in the heat. And uh, hopefully they've worked, we're going to find out, but hopefully they've worked those issues out. But 
as far, I mean, ideally, if you could get the Kawasaki Rouser 200 NS engine, the disc brakes, and the headlight, and put them in the YBR, you'd have a pretty awesome Philippines street machine. That would be the ultimate bike. But as it is, you can't always get what you want. So you got to settle for what you do have. So I have decided to keep the browser. We're going to be putting a top box in the back for our luggage needs. And a gentleman, a Russian gentleman, I don't want no problems with Russians. He just bought the YBR last night and he's going to be picking it up today. So let's remember this video because remember when I was saying this was a much more complicated machine? Let's not hope that causes a problem and creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. This is Ned over at My Philippine Dreams. Bye, YBR. You're a great bike. I love you. And uh, take care of the Russian guy.